Hello and welcome, I'm another Magento Dev and in this video I want to lay down a bit of a precursor for a video that's coming soon with regards to zero downtime deploy. So what I was going to talk about today is just the basics of how to deploy a Magento and therefore sort of why it's so difficult to have zero downtime deploys and why they sort of don't a K by default. Yeah, we're in 2021 and it still takes minutes to deploy Magento. So essentially, it has to go into maintenance mode uh, when you're doing this. So the first command you would run uh, is you might have you change might affect the module. You might have added a brand new module. You might have added you know, some, some code or some schema that affects the database. Well, the next command you need to run is set up upgrade. And upgrade um, actually enables any new modules. So you don't actually have to run bin Magento module enable. You can just send it to your production environment and run either automatically through a deploy system or jump on the server and do it yourself, set up upgrade. That'll enable your new uh, module. If you are adding new modules or making any other co code changes to modules and say you've added another dependency or something you injected another dependency into a module the next command it's advisable to run is and it actually generates a brand new uh, generated code folder. So the next command that you would run after that is got to be running the um, static content deploy command um, I normally run it for ENUS and ENGB um, and what this command does grabbing all the code from your theme and it is deploying it into pub static front end the name of your theme the name of sorry the name of your vendor the name of your theme and then it splits it out for region so then in that you will find engb and enus if those are the ones that you deploy uh, depending on what region you've set in in the back end of magento and essentially it's your static assets so this is if you've got your web server set up correctly pub is your root and this is your website uh, and and that's how it gets there and um, if you fail to run this command and run setup upgrade you're in trouble it'll get and, and you're in production mode it'll give you a processing error and that processing error is if you look at it every time it is um cannot find static content generation so by running um setup upgrade it does actually clear these uh th those those folders uh, in production mode and they don't regenerate automatically they do in developer mode but you won't have your production site in developer mode in production mode you have to run the the generation the next command you're probably going to uh, run is to flush the caches out. So, you know, bin Magento cache flush that pages all your cache folders for you. Um, and then they get rebuilt um, when a user hits the site. So, you know, there is a performance um, degradation. Degrad deg performance degradation issue um, when in these commands that's the production magento deploy commands in sort of five minutes uh, just as a quick uh, whistle stop tour of the magento deploy commands yeah it's a it's a beast it's a bit of a beast it's good though it's good <laughs> 